With Americans eating out increasingly less to save on costs, some of the biggest fast food chains in the U.S. are taking desperate measures to survive the ongoing recession. For many of them, that means conducting mass store shutdowns to improve their financial health and to get rid of potential risks. Unfortunately, this also means that many of us will lose our favorite shops in the months ahead. That's why today we've brought you an updated list of restaurants that announce store shutdowns in the months ahead. But before moving on, we kindly ask you to support our work with a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our upcoming videos. Without further ado, here are 15 fast food chains closing stores this summer. 1. Popeyes In November 2022, Popeyes started closing a number of locations, and it seems like things haven't changed in 2023. Newsbreak reports more permanent closings in the coming months as sales decline and profits shrink. In California, the chain is facing an even bigger challenge. Several locations may have to be shuttered after the company broke child labor laws. Teenage employees filed complaints accusing the outlet of forcing them to work long hours and late shifts. The minor employees were asked to skip school for shifts and work past 11 p.m., the Washington Post reported. California labor laws state that those under 18 years old aren't permitted to work more than four hours on a school day, nor work past 11 p.m. Meanwhile, one of its biggest franchises, Premier Cajun Kings, filed for bankruptcy last month after its founder's untimely passing, coupled with a brutal operating environment, left the company in limbo. 2. Chick-fil-A As it turns out, Chick-fil-A is not showing the financial resilience expected from a chain of this size and scope. The company is amongst the 15 largest fast food chains in America, but that doesn't mean it's standing on solid footing. The chicken shortage of the past few years has certainly caused some major headaches for Chick-fil-A, which increased prices three times in three years. Lower sales, higher costs, and supply chain disruptions continue to impact its bottom line, and now several shops are closing doors for good. On top of the shutdowns announced in Florida, Maryland, Alabama, Tennessee, and Missouri, the chain is closing its first ever restaurant after more than a half century in business. The company did not reveal the reason for the shutdowns, but CNN experts believe some of the locations haven't been able to turn out a profit in at least four years. 3. Dunkin' Donuts Just like rival Starbucks, Dunkin' is a coffee shop and bakery that offers locals a place to get their caffeine fix on every corner. But East Coast customers may be disappointed to hear that the chain is now closing 450 outlets in the region. An announcement from the company revealed that gas stations, Dunkin' stores, don't generate much revenue, contributing to less than 0.5% of its sales. For that reason, the chain is closing such facilities and redirecting all maintenance funds to other successful locations. We're convinced that by leaving these locations with little financial impact, we'll be better positioned to serve many of these trade regions with new Dunkin' Next Gen stores that have a wider menu in the future," said Chief Financial Officer Kate Japson. 4. Dairy Queen Right as the summer begins, many Americans will have to say goodbye to their local Dairy Queen. Dairy Queen has always stood out as a unique fast food chain because it's not known just for its burgers or fries like some of its competitors, but for its legendary ice cream selection. Dozens of locations are being closed in Florida and California, including a 65-year-old store located in Sanibel. In 1994, a couple bought the franchise and started to operate the store. The last 28 years has had its share of ups and downs, the couple stated in a notice posted on one of the walk-up windows. But with each passing year, Dairy Queen Corporate puts more and more unrealistic demands on us, leading us down a path that we would not have chosen. They weren't the only ones. 
Other franchisees also pointed to rising tensions with corporate leaders, which indicates more shutdowns may be ahead. 5. Steak and Shake Steak and Shake had more than 620 stores around the country in the first quarter of 2019, but financial challenges brought on by the pandemic forced it to close nearly 60. Then in 2022, the burger chain shut down another 30 locations and profitability issues only got worse from there. Facing increased competition from larger chains like McDonald's and Burger King, the closings had a major impact on Steak and Shake's earnings, and it ultimately forced the company to make some more difficult decisions. The chain has announced 130 closings in 2023, and the reason for the closings is plentiful, from understaffing to poor sales performance to sanitation and labor issues, the shops being shuttered have been losing money for years, a spokesperson said to the Daily Mail. The chain is now focusing on improving the stores that are reporting good results, and it expects that their development will make up for the financial losses it experienced in recent years by 2028. 6. Krispy Kreme Since it opened its first store in 1937, Krispy Kreme has become a household name across the U.S. and the world. Customers who visit its locations can watch donuts being made and enjoy them while they're still hot. Today, there are only 374 shops in the U.S., down from 1,000 a decade ago. Earlier this year, the chain confirmed more closings for 2023, but refused to specify how many stores were on the chopping block. The Sun explained that the decision was part of a new business model that required leaner operations to improve profitability. Rather than seeking to open and maintain Krispy Kreme franchises, the new focus would be on distributing fresh products to both franchises and grocery and convenience stores across the country, the report revealed. 7. Chuck E. Cheese After filing and re-emerging from bankruptcy in 2020, Chuck E. Cheese is doing whatever he can to prevent another downturn as the recession continues to intensify. Predicting poor financial results at some of its locations, Chuck E. Cheese announced 45 closings this summer, which will affect stores in California, Florida, Massachusetts, Ohio, and Oklahoma. 8. Quiznos Famous sandwich chain Quiznos once had 5,000 locations across the country. During its boom, the fast food company was extremely popular in the U.S., being the second biggest sandwich sub shop in the nation, only behind Subway. But by 2010, just 2,800 stores were still operating. After the retail apocalypse began in 2017, closings accelerated and only 671 stores were left, according to Restaurant Business. On top of that, the pandemic triggered another wave of shutdowns. Since 2021, this beloved chain has been generating less than $100 million a year in sales. At the beginning of last year, several franchisees started to become insolvent and go bankrupt, which put the chain in a very unstable financial situation. Now, executives say that from the remaining 255 Quiznos sandwich shops in America, only 154 will stay open by the end of 2023. 9. Pie 5 The chain that became a major hit for allowing customers to customize their pizza with their own pizza toppings and cooking the pies in just five minutes is now slowly disappearing from the United States. In 2017, there were hundreds of locations around the nation, but by 2021, just 98 were still open. Due to a shortage of staff, higher costs for ingredients, and persistent underperformance, 72% of its shops are about to go dark for good this year. This means that in 2024, only 25 Pi 5 locations will be operating in America. 10. Crystal The Georgia-based restaurant, which claims to be the South's oldest fast food chain, has become known for its tiny hamburgers and late-night service. But since 2020, 
Crystal is in deep financial trouble. The pandemic left the company with a hundred million dollar debt to its food suppliers, which not only led to shortages of menu items, but almost resulted in a class action lawsuit. Although executives managed to reach an agreement with suppliers, the chain itself started to fall apart and it filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy to restructure its massive debt load. Today, Crystal is still trying to get back on its feet, but to do so, the company is having to reduce its store count in 2023. Up until now, 40 restaurant closings have been announced, but dozens more can occur if the recession lasts longer than the company is anticipating. 11. Burgerim Named after the Hebrew word burgerim, which means many burgers, the fast food chain was founded in Israel in 2011. By mid-2016, entrepreneur Oren Lonnie bought the rights to franchise the restaurant and opened 168 burgerims in America. What made burgerim so different and so adored by its customers was the quality of the food. The chain sold miniature hamburgers in packs of two and ten high-quality varieties, including Wagyu beef and lamb. All burgers arrived on brioche-style buns with sesame seeds and were topped with non-traditional condiments like pineapple and avocado. However, Burgerim rapidly became a victim of its own success. It expanded too quickly. By the end of 2019, over 1,200 stores were operating in the U.S. Later that year, Burger Inn nearly filed for bankruptcy. They didn't, but faced a lawsuit with franchisees over allegedly shady and deceptive contracts that ultimately cost the company a significant $57 million. The turmoil resulted in mass shutdowns that are still taking place to this day. Experts predict that by January 2024, there will be only 125 Burger Inn outlets throughout the country. 12. Noodles & Company This popular quick-surf chain is one of the most inclusive menus a restaurant can offer. This makes Noodles & Company unparalleled among fast food in the variety of cultures it represents. The place sells and quickly turns around plates of noodles and pasta inspired by the cuisines of Italy, China, Korea, and Japan, among others, along with soups and salads. But since 2016, things haven't been looking good for Noodles & Company. That year, the chain reported a net loss of $71.7 million, and since then, it's been closing a number of outlets to rebalance its operations. In the last quarter, Noodles & Company lost an additional $8 million, and just before that, in the fourth quarter of 2022, it lost another $6.4 million. In order to boost its revenue, it had to pass along a 10% increase in its products. But that caused sales to fall, and as a result, 48 locations are scheduled to close this summer. 13. Taco Bueno the company was founded in Abilene, Texas in 1967 and offers various varieties of tacos, burritos, and nachos, along with an original signature creation called the Muchacho, a meat and refried bean taco served in pita bread. The restaurant grew into a regionally dominant chain in Texas, Oklahoma, and Arkansas. But in the past five years, a series of financial issues arose which prompted corporate officials to hire former Crystal executive Omar Janjua, who immediately started to cut the chain's worst performing restaurants. The goal? Shut them down and stop spending money on those money pits. Dozens of locations are long gone by now, and the company even pulled out of Colorado Springs entirely. A bankruptcy filing came right after, and until now, conditions remain uncertain for Taco Bueno. As of December 2022, Taco Bueno was down to 139 locations, but in the summer of 2023, an additional 23 stores are set to close in Texas and Oklahoma. 14. Papa Murphy's Papa Murphy's CEO is warning about mass store closings after a very tough year. 
The pizza giant is renowned for its take-and-bake service, but the company saw a major drop in sales over the past year. Franchisees are now closing 72 outlets amid poor performance, restaurant business reported. Eric Lefebvre, CEO of the chain's parent company, MTY Food Group, told analysts earlier this month, we're closing a lot of stores, unfortunately. The performance is not where we want it to be. 15. Qdoba Qdoba started out in Denver in 1995 as a food stand. Founders Anthony Miller and Robert Hauser aimed to create a Mexican fast food outlet that focused on healthier ingredients and customized ordering. That concept evolved into a chain of more than 700 Qdoba stores as of 2022, where customers can direct the assembly of their own burritos, tacos, and bowls. Qdoba is very similar to that of Chipotle, which operates more than four times as many restaurants in the U.S. But it looks like the Mexican-inspired quick-serve chain is being crushed by its biggest rival. After 67 closings since 2018, another 20 Qdoba locations are now saying their final goodbyes to their customers. The truth is that some of these chains may not be able to live through the economic downturn that's just starting, and they're likely to disappear a few years from now. The outlook keeps worsening for major U.S. businesses, and from now on, we will start hearing far more store closings announcements than we have done in previous years. Thank you for watching.